10 days after being slammed by a tornado, business owners at one of the most well known intersections in Dallas, Preston Road and Royal Lane, they are now trying to rebuild and reopen. Our Jack Fink live there now. Jack, any idea on when these businesses are going to get back up and running? Not just yet, Brooke. And you know, this is a very busy time of the year for the restaurant owner and the shop owner that we spoke with today. And for each of them, their main question is how soon can they welcome their customers back? I've been here 52 years in this town, never seen a tornado. And there it is. This is just the second time Tom Ruggieri has returned to his beloved Ruggieri's restaurant since the tornado blew through knocking down this 12-foot wall. Thankfully, he says, customers were sitting across the room. Had this happened at 8 o'clock, we, we had uh, two tables here, that table. Uh, yeah, they could have they easily got killed. It's the first time since he opened at the southwest corner of Preston and Royal 13 years ago that he can't serve lunch or dinner to his loyal customers. I know everybody. And they all know me. They know my food's good. And uh, it's just like the neighborhood go to place. Despite the mess, he vows to reopen here better than before. Yeah, I think it's one of the best four corners in Dallas right now. On the southeast corner of Preston and Royal, a similar story of destruction. Ben Davis, owner of the Gents Place, a grooming and lifestyle club for men, says he's growing more frustrated. We're 10 days into this, and we'd like to get into our, our spaces and at least have an answer on whether we're, we can rebuild here or we need to go elsewhere. But he wants to stay here. We love the area. I mean, the Preston Royal Corridor is a historic one. Back at the restaurant, Tom Ruggieri tries to remain upbeat. I just know was, we're not going to lose any customers. But you're very fortunate. Because we're closed. Or else I'll call them all and yell at them. <laughs> now, I call the property managers for both the restaurant and the shop to find out what comes next, but I didn't hear back. Live in Dallas, Jack Fink, CBS 11 News.